Ho Outsiders, welcome back to The Outside In. It's your favorite Tavern Keeper E.I. Warner here, and today we're going to be talking about the most epic, the most legendary Lord of the Rings fonts from a fantasy fiction author's perspective. And I'm so goddamn excited to be making this video today, because John Ronald Rule Token, the maker of Middle-Earth, will be so goddamn excited that you're watching this video today, because Tolkien loved languages. In fact, he admitted 16 of his own, but not only did he architect their grammar, and their syntax, but he also designed their typefaces. Because something that Tolkien understood deeply was that fonts help words tell stories. So today, we're gonna to be exploring some of the most beautiful fonts, some of the most truly inspirational typefaces, as well as the stories that they tell. Keep in mind that each of these fonts, as well as how to download them, can be found in the description below. So before I jump into the top three and finish with my all-time favorite, I'd like to briefly touch upon two honorable mentions. The first, of course, is the Ring Bearer font that can be found on all Lord of the Rings movie posters. The gold pleated version of this font is especially iconic, but in my opinion, Ring Bearer just doesn't quite hold up without Howard Shore's epic soundtrack behind it, and I can't really imagine any use for it aside from titling the Lord of the Rings in, in Hobbit movies, which is why it hasn't made it into the top three. The second honorable mention is Aneron, which I refer to as the font of men. And Aneron is a unique, beautiful typeface, especially the A's and the D's, and it excels at expressing medieval human proper nouns, like the names of men, women, and places. Looking at this font now, it should be of no surprise that it can be found on many of the maps of Middle-earth. The only issue I have with this font is that its lowercase and capital letters are identical except for their sizes, making it awkward to use in full sentences. As a result, Aneron does not quite capture the smaller, less epic human moments, like a writer of Rohan's Letter of Love, or the receipt for a well-worn traveler's cloak, which is why it narrowly avoids making it to my top three. Now it's time for my all-time favorite. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. Lord of the Rings inspired fonts. The first of these fonts is Elvish Common Speak, which is a depiction of how elves would write human English, and it is stunning. Remember that elves are an immortal race that are known to be fairer, wiser, and more beautiful than the humans of Middle-earth, which to me just radiates out of this typeface. The letters are inhumanly long, thin, and elegant. They radiate a pristine, hairless sort of power that makes me think of Legless, high up in the misty mountains, and while the rest of the fellowship is devoured by the snow, Legolas is so light that he walks right on top of it. He's so elegant without even trying, and to me that effortless beauty is perfectly captured in this typeface. Another detail I love is how close the letters are spaced together, despite their length, which pays direct homage to their native tongues. The next font is called Hobbiton Brushhand, and it warms my toes just to see it written. To me, this font represents all of the Shire, and not just because it is the typeface used on maps of the Shire, but also because of the letter design. Notice that Hobbiton Brushhand takes itself less seriously than the other fonts of Middle-earth, as can be seen by the imperfect accent marks and rougher edges. This is not a font that would be used for a writ of war or Lord Farquaad's decree to expel all fairy tale creatures, but that doesn't mean it doesn't carry weight. Hobbiton Brushhand is the perfect font to address the esteemed halfling heroes of Middle-earth, like Peregrine Took, and famed establishments like the Green Dragon, but also simpler things like a strand of pipeweed or an old family recipe for nutberry pie. Hobbiton Brushhand is the font of the Shire, and in Middle-earth, the Shire represents the exact opposite of evil. It embodies the simple goodness that exists in all things. Or as Samwise Gamgee put it, that there's some good in this world, Mr. Furl, and it's worth fighting for. Now it's time for the single most legendary Lord of the Rings font, which in my opinion is Bilbo Hand. This font was designed by Nancy Lawrence to perfectly mimic Bilbo's handwriting in the Lord of the Rings movies. For those who are not aware, the book that Tolkien released as The Hobbit back in 1932 was actually written by Bilbo Baggins under the title There and Back Again, A Hobbit's Tale, and is this tale that practically invented epic fantasy as we know it. The astronomical success of The Hobbit paved the way for authors like me by proving to fantasy writers and publishing houses that humanity was ready to travel to worlds that have never been. It is within there and back again, originally written in this font, that the denizens of our planet were first introduced to Middle-earth, to Rivendell and to Gandalf the Grey, and it is within there and back again that Bilbo finds the Ring of Power and sets the stage for Frodo's epic quest. 
and I'd like you to notice something here. After Frodo destroys the ring and returns to the Shire, he writes his own story in a book he titled The Lord of the Rings. If we compare Frodo and Bilbo's handwriting, in particular the unique Bs and Gs, it becomes clear that the typefaces are almost identical, and thus, it is in this font that the greatest myths of our time were recorded. This humble yet powerful scrawl embodies not only the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings, but the soul of Middle-earth. Because though through these stories we encounter greedy dragons and demented tyrants, we do so from the perspective of simple hobbits, proving to everyone in every world Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. That's all I've got for today, so please like, comment, and subscribe or whatever if you appreciate super niche, random fantasy videos like these. I'm having a blast making them, so there are definitely more on the way. I also talk writing, Warcraft, and wizardly things on Twitch every Tuesday and Friday, so shoot me a follow there if you'd like to swing by for a drink. And with that, I bid you Godspeed and good fortune on your adventures.